Hey, what's up everyone? Today we'll review how to use a potentiometer, what it is, and review some code to see how it works. Well, my name's Andrew, and let's go ahead and tune our way into this. As we transition over to the wiring diagram, all we're gonna need basically is gonna be your Raspberry Pi Pico, some jumper cables, and obviously your potentiometer. As we look at the Raspberry Pi diagram, what we're going to use, we're going to use pin 40, which is going to be our power. And then it doesn't matter which ground you use, but in this case, we're going to use pin 38 for our ground. And then finally, pin 31, which is going to be our general purpose 26 pin, which is going to be your analog pin. As we move over to Tani, I'm going to go ahead and run this. And right now I have the potentiometer set at zero or rolled all the way down, but we could see it's not going to be a true zero. So let's go ahead and talk about the code. So we're going to import uTime and then we're going to need a pin that we're going to import. So in this case, it's going to be for the analog. We have a conversion factor, which is going to be our max volts, which is going to be 3.3 divided by the total values. Within the while true statement, we're going to get that output and we're going to convert it. So it's going to read from zero to 3.3. And as I increase the potentiometer we could see the numbers slowly increasing as I increase which is not going to go past 3.3 I'm going to scroll back down and then we could see that it's going to slowly decrease so if I move it up really fast we could see it jump uh, same thing when we decrease it and what we're doing we're just refreshing this every one second all right guys I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below and let's talk about it. My name's Andrew and I'll see you at the next video.